Hi friends, today we are going to talk about this new transaction SLGD that you can use for uh, displaying uh, application log. Before we used to use SLG1, the good thing about SLGD here, you have a selection screen, okay? So you can search based on this compared where you have SLG1, we didn't have so much selection criteria. So here, a good example can be here, I can give suppose I can search with a program name, okay? I can give multiple program names. So if I give, suppose, AIF star, okay? And I want to find the from date and to date. Suppose I change this to 17th, okay? And I execute. I can get all the, <clears throat> all the details based on that. So this is pretty handy. And if you have some specific programs that you want to see the errors and all those things, you can easily find it out and again like slg1 you can search with user id transaction code anything so this is pretty handy one one important thing about these things is when you execute it okay display all not recommended and all those things uh you can just execute this the way to download there's no option of downloading this so if you are trying to find something way to download something it will be a uh, challenge so in this case what you can do uh, you can always put it in a text format okay and when you do that this particular report you can download and you can just play around in the excel to get what you want okay so that's it stay tuned to my sap channel and happy sap learning and if you like it share and subscribe to it and have a great day